Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this in the PLA 3D printer filament uh, 1.75 millimeters. It's 2.2 pounds, one kilogram, which is pretty much standard. And the listing on Amazon says printing biodegradable materials, clock free, smoothly feeding, tidy winding, tangle free accuracy. Uh, 0.03 millimeters comes in a lot of different colors. The listing looked really tempting to me. Unfortunately, there are no reviews at the moment. So I wanted to help you with this thing here. For me, it looked really tempting. All the description, everything, good price. And so I'll give it a try and let you know if this really works. I mean, this looks like it's rather new on the market. Comes nice nicely sealed, I mean vacuum sealed, which is really important. The spool looks also really nice. I ordered this in white, by the way, and I'm going to print something for you. And I mean, of course, I first have to unload the old filament, then load this thing here. I'm going to show how it's printing, how it comes out at the very end. So here's the thing, I hope you can see that. I mean, you have also more description on the box. Maybe it helps you. The temperature should be also around 200 degrees, which is also pretty much standard. So nothing weird. You can see the colors which you can select. I think there are even more colors available online on Amazon and here also some description. So from my side, looking really good. I'm going to unload the old one and then load this thing here for me. Looks really good, not shiny, nice matte color as it should be or as I really like it at the moment. And so I'm going to print and let you know. So I'm back here after printing a couple of models, or actually two models with this filament, the Ender uh, 3D printing filament and the result, if you just want to know the result, I can already tell you the result is awesome. It's definitely a buy. If you want to know about uh, more details, I can tell you the whole story. It's a really interesting story I had huge problems at the beginning but I found out that these problems were not related uh, to this filament but uh, if you are interested you can uh, keep watching and telling you all the details at the very end so the printing itself went really good you can see details everything really good absolutely no problem especially this thing here uh, this is really difficult to print I've already tried with many many filaments and with the letters here, that's really, really difficult to print. I had so many problems with other filaments, I can tell you. And also a big time problem was to have it sticking to the bare glass without any glue. And you can see there's definitely no glue. I hope you can see that here. It's very shiny. You can see how shiny this is. This was printed on a tempered glass without any glue. No, nothing. You can see the uh, light here mirroring absolutely flat. No, nothing. It has been sticking nice. You can see also the corners here or the edges. Absolutely perfect. I don't have to sand or so. Uh, there's actually nothing I have to do. I can just remove the glue here. You can see, I mean, the glue that's uh, cold, the glue, it's not real glue. It's just something which is printed on the hotbed to uh, make it stick a little bit better. But here it was actually not needed. And you can see how easily this comes off much better than with the old filament I've been using. So overall the result very, very good. It's also waterproof. By the way, that's a drinking bowl for my daughter's hamster works really good. Uh, it's waterproof. Everything works really nice. I maybe have to send here outside, but it's the only thing. Everything else is absolutely uh, awesome. That's the good thing. So the printing is really nice. The sticking on the glass is very nice. And what's also really nice 
uh, I haven't noticed that at the beginning we have much more holes on the reels than with other brands. Sometimes we have just two holes or I mean maybe here two holes and here two holes uh, to store the ending of the filament. When you have to unload here you can see here uh, there's no problem to fit the ending perfectly. You can see that here if it would have been a little bit longer I could have selected these holes or these holes or yeah, you have so many holes here at the end there's absolutely no problem. I can take it out and show you that. So that's the ending. I mean of course uh, usually I would cut this thing. I, I didn't but you can see how good this thing is. You can uh, it's almost impossible to break this thing uh, with other filaments. Sometimes I had a lot of breaking off and so that's not going to happen. So, so in future this will be my preferred brand definitely. It provided me the best experience overall and uh, that's actually the end of the review if you want to know the whole story i can tell you the whole story how it started it was actually totally crazy because usually i was using some uh, glue on top of the glass bed and uh, i was using this uh, glue here glue stick and usually that worked pretty good but when I was printing uh, a model, I mean before I was printing this, uh, these two models here with this filament, I had some problems and I thought, yeah, okay, maybe I want to have good results uh, with this new or like solid results and not interfering with the uh, glue or so and not causing any problems. And so I'll put an extra layer of glue on top of the old layer and that was definitely a bad idea. I can only recommend to stay away from doing many many layers of this thing. It, it can also be too much. So I was a little bit frustrated when it was not sticking. I thought yeah okay this looks like a good brand and it was not sticking. So then I removed the whole glue with isopropyl alcohol and so I just had the bare glass, tempered glass and I thought okay let's try and since I wanted to make it perfect I did a real leveling of the ANET ET5X but the problem is the ET5X really has I mean it has some kind of manual leveling it has some kind of automatic leveling and uh, but both work actually really really bad I tried a couple of times but every time you check again it's it's uh, not really good level but, but I tried and tried and tried and thought yeah okay it's good so let's start with printing these models and then in immediately uh, after I started I got some uh, feeder problems I mean feeder slipping which uh, some people uh, also experience I had this also before and I thought okay wow is this related to this filament but I found it's definitely not because it was just a problem with the leveling because the leveling was uh, too close I mean the nozzle was too close to the printing bed and I also double checked with uh, everything what other people are writing and usually if you have like feet slipping it's almost never related to the PLA filament so I adjusted the leveling again and uh, so I printed this model again and there was absolutely no slipping from the beginning so it was definitely caused to the uh, wrong leveling so overall I can definitely tell you there's no problem which I have found at the very end so this will be my preferred uh, brand in the future really nice good and not even expensive so I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.